five, four, three, two, one. We have main engine startup and we have liftoff. Space Systems Loral, the leading manufacturer of commercial satellites, designed and built Mimic 6, a high performance communication satellite for Telesat, one of the world's leading satellite operators. Nimic 6 will be used by Bell TV to serve its growing subscriber base for direct to home television service in Canada. The satellite has a payload of 32 active KU DBS band transponders and will provide digital, high definition, and specialty television services from its orbital location of 91 degrees west. Based on Space Systems Loral's highly reliable 1300 satellite platform, NIMIC-6 has a launch mass of more than 4,600 kilograms and provides almost 11 kilowatts of power throughout its 15-year mission life. The two four-panel solar arrays measure 32 meters, or more than 100 feet from tip to tip. The spacecraft will complement Bell TV's existing satellites, adding power and capacity to better serve its customer base. It also adds to Telesat's constellation of geostationary satellites, which supports growing demand for direct-to-home services. Led by Executive Director Larry Kennedy, the program management and technical teams at Space Systems Loral in Palo Alto, California, worked closely with Ontario-based Telesat and suppliers from around the world to design, build, and test NIMIC-6. It took more than a million man-hours and hundreds of engineers and technicians working together as a cohesive team to create this state-of-the-art satellite. This teamwork, trust and collaboration have helped make Space Systems Loral the leader in commercial satellites, delivering more commercial capacity on orbit than any other manufacturer. Space Systems Loral employees take pride in the quality and reliability built into every satellite, and NIMIC-6 is a satellite that reflects this care, attention, and commitment to deliver the very best. Coming up on 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, ignition. We should start. And we have liftoff. Liftoff of an ILS proton rocket from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan with the Nimic 6 satellite on board. It's a little difficult to see due to the fact that this is uh, nighttime in Baikonur, but about 10 seconds after liftoff, the rocket does a roll maneuver and is soon going to experience maximum dynamic pressure, also known as. Max Q, and that's the maximum aerodynamic load on the vehicle. For Proton, it corresponds to about Mach 1.6 and occurs one minute and two seconds after liftoff. <laughs> 